units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City in my current position. Move to Marine HQ to reach the order. Sergeant Kelly, Marine HQ. Hey, you! Up here! Quickly! I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way! I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Be careful. I don't know what's in here. and fortify your position.
Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. Just left the weekly status. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. If many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel can truly be even manifested itself here in medical. We have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. Do we have a Dr. Casey now. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills Connection admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. I can't believe you're still alive. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. Connection established. Marine, I can't believe you're still alive. setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. Your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine. This is Mark Stanton, Manifest Control is currently stationed in Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the Manifest Controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest, but whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. <laughs>
Marine. If you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Bastin, the Environmental Services Supervisor. The UAC Date is, is here to help October 19th. You. Psychological services are I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helpful. Power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track. But we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting a sick on the I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production data on October 18, 2140. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. The increased load shift to 12 hours a day for all personnel. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production data. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit just past the These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire jetting within the future and similar sensitive Today we have only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures. And this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate and I recommend no changes in that procedure.